Tensions are high in Ottawa County after parents learned a soccer coach slipped energy drinks into kids' water bottles. Team parents packed a meeting a few hours ago addressing the Michigan Fire Juniors coach. 24 Hour News 8's Marvis Herring spoke with parents who say the soccer team problems only start there. Marvis? Marley, several parents are still fuming that a coach was able to put five hour energy into their eight to 10 year old athletes' water bottles without their knowledge. I'm told that coach is no longer with the team, but now now parents say it's time for the entire board to quit too. Our cameras were banned from recording inside the Michigan Fire Juniors town hall meeting tonight. But as we listened in, accusations of corruption, scare tactics, and misuse of money quickly surfaced. All fingers pointed at the board. So right now it feels like they have hit a lot of things um, and there's a lot of finger pointing and it's pretty ugly and it's really sad and unfortunate. That mother of two club members didn't want to show her face on camera and another parent we spoke with asked we not show hers. She says she'd gotten threats after speaking out about the board. I think that this club is built on great coaches and players and there's a few rotten eggs and they need to go away. The issue there's multiple for starters parents demanded that the board all step down after learning of the five hour energy scandal. Some say board members knew before parents were contacted. It's yeah. wrong and there could be complications and they're risking these children's lives if, if there was a complication. But that's not happening and parents would have a hard time forcing anyone out. An attorney hired by Michigan Fire Junior said tonight that board members elect and appoint themselves. Team parents have no say. Do you stay and take the risk that the club's going to be okay or do you leave? Like, what do you do? The overflowing room of mainly upset parents became even more concerned when one person spoke during public input saying he pulled former tax returns that revealed at least two board members were also paid by the club $20,000 each in 2016. I personally don't understand how board members should be paid. It's not brain surgery. It's just soccer. Run it properly and, and let the kids play. And if you didn't know, Michigan Fire Junior Soccer Club is a youth affiliate of Chicago Fire Soccer. That team also had a rep tonight there to listen. Most of the parents tonight said they still want to see the entire board resign, or at the very least, they want some quick changes to the current bylaws. So the board itself is not self-electing and self-appointing.